In this problem, anaerobic digestion is used to treat primary sewage generated at a 10 MGD wastewater treatment plant. The following data are provided. The mean cell residence time in the digester is 10 days. The anaerobic digester volume is 20,000 cubic feet. The sludge specific gravity is 1.04 and the dry solids removed in the primary tank is 13,000 pounds per day. The goal is to find the moisture content of the primary sludge expressed as a percent. So in this problem, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our reference manual. And if we search sludge, this will eventually lead to chapter six, section 6.8.5.3 called activated sludge treatment. And if you go a little further down to page 457, you'll find a subsection called sludge production. It's here that we're going to need the equation that the reference manual provides. So the sludge production equation is given as follows. V sub S equals M over P sub S, S sub S, GW. Where in this case, V sub S is the sludge volume produced in cubic feet M is the sludge production rate on a dry weight basis in pounds force. GW is the specific weight of water in pounds force per cubic foot. S sub S is the specific gravity of the sludge slurry. And P sub S is the percent of solids expressed as a decimal. So before we can use this equation, the first thing we need to do is find V sub S, or the daily sludge volume produced. So the daily sludge volume is going to be given in units of feet cubed per day. To get that, we want to divide the digester volume by the cell residence time. This value is sometimes given as theta C. So our digester volume is 20,000 cubic feet and our cell residence time is 10 days. So this gives the daily sludge volume at 2,000 cubic feet per day. We now have enough information for the sludge production equation to fill out all of the terms except for one which in this case is going to be P sub S, which again is the percent of solids expressed as a decimal. So for step two, we're going to back calculate using the sludge production equation. So V sub S we said is 2000 cubic feet per day and that equals M, which is the dry solids removed in the primary tank of 13,000 pounds per day. This is going to be over P sub S. S sub S is at our specific gravity of 1.04. And finally, the unit weight of water, or the specific weight of water, is going to be 62.4 pound per cubic feet. Now that's a term that wasn't given, but it's one that you should know. So either have it memorized or look it up in the front of the manual uh, during this problem. Obviously, it'll be faster if you have it memorized. From here, we can isolate P sub S and that's going to be 0 0.1, which is the percent of solids expressed as a decimal. So to finalize this problem, where all we need to do is find the moisture content instead of the percent of solids. So 
So the moisture content equals one minus the dry component equals the wet component. In this case, that's gonna be one minus 0 0.1 to give us 0 0.9 or 90%. And we can see over here that this is the third answer. So that's all it takes to solve this problem. You need to know the sludge production equation, which we found in the reference manual. And before you begin to use it, you need to find the daily sludge volume by using the digester volume and the residence time provided. Calculating for the sludge production can use the remaining terms up here. And finally, we have to subtract the dry from the total to get the wet. It's worth mentioning that the flow rate or size of the wastewater treatment plant, the 10 MGD number here is not used. And that the test is going to give you the answer for the dry component too, in case you either get confused for what you're solving for, or you're in a hurry and you pick the first answer from the middle of your calculations. But if you can avoid those minor pitfalls, this problem's pretty straightforward. And that's it.